You have two games of your event now, I'm sure, that's still during season, but Adrian, do you feel now that you're kind of like fully back, match fit, ready to go for everything? Um, yeah, I think like even when coming back, you, you don't have no excuses, especially how we train at, at Lancer and at Ireland. I know the other provinces are the same with how they train. The, if you get a couple of weeks running the train, it shouldn't be an excuse to get back match fit. Um, so I guess I never would have had that excuse coming into the end of the season with Lancer and this. Um, but yeah, it's been great to like two losses. So I can't say they've been good experiences at the end of the day, but it's always a privilege getting back playing. And when you are injured, appreciate how lucky an opportunity is to get. You have come out of that time on Saturday and made an impact. Were you kind of like coil spring ready to go away? <laughs> well, uh, we, we trained and challenged all week and I covered the back three and center stuff. Uh, it's like Faz would challenge the whole bench and even the guys that are out there too know your stuff so it's um having that challenge put to us is always good because you kind of have a good feel for the game you're looking at it from more than one perspective so when I got the call to plan at half time um yeah i was ready to go at, at 13 and um excited to get out there and play in a big game what were the what were the positives you took from from saturday that that gives you the belief now that you keep on level series to begin um it's tough when you when you lose you don't take many positives but uh i guess the opportunities that we potentially did create maybe didn't take um i think there's another level in how we can play as a credit to them how strong they are um on defense and, and the pressure they put you under and then equally on attack they've really good variety so it's to i guess having faced it once no doubt they're trying to level up again um and there's areas of their game we'll try and level up and, and equally then we'll try and do the same thing. So the, the positives, I guess, is having an opportunity to go again um, and knowing that I think we can be, we can be better um, and the challenges will be uh, to improve on wherever they improve on as well. Just by me then, JLF and Creel, they're going again this weekend. What is it about, what is it about those players? Like what are their... Their, their special talents. What are what are the things they're bringing to the set up? Um, well, they've great cohesion when when they play together. Uh, like uh, Damien's an unbelievably good ball player. Um, passing ability off both hands, kicking ability as well with the tacking kicks. Um, and that's before mentioning the, his ability to carry. Uh, and then you have Jesse Creel, who on defence gets through a crazy amount of work and chases every chance. Um, chases every scrap and he's he's kind of a cornerstone of their defence. Even on Colby's try, you can see he's chasing up the inside as well. So it wasn't just a once-off bit of a moment from, from Colby. It was him chasing the chance too. Um, and then on attack, yeah, his, his pace and ability to take on the line as well is uh, is tough to deal with. So we'll, we'll have our work out, cut out for us this week. Thanks. Uh, Rory then. Rory, that Colby moment. Is that just kind of a reminder of what to expect to do? Uh, what should be expected in international level for about to one-two World Cup to never in the game, still fun the way as if it was a World Cup final. Is that just a reminder of the young lads at this spot that takes to be in top quality international and make uh, make all the top of the big Uh yeah, I think so. Like taking a step back from all of it is it's a lesson for young and old, everyone that um He's obviously unbelievably talented, but that's that's kind of a zero talent moment from him. Um, it doesn't require skill; it just requires work rate, which he has in abundance, um, and then creates the opportunity for himself. So, yeah, yeah definitely, I think anyone can take a lesson from that. What's how about this week been, been like in Premier League? Like you don't lose often in this in this group, but uh, Andy seems pretty pretty good. Swipe up, so I know that it has it been kind of down? Has it been kind of like how have you kind of assessed kind of you last week and what about yourself from this? Yeah, it, it, it it's probably like as in there's no egos in the group, and why, why we call it, say it's a special group, and we all feel privileged to be a part of it. That everyone wants to do their best, give their best, um, and ultimately and ultimately win. But that's a byproduct of of being as focused and as hardworking, and enjoying each other's company and you know all of that. Um, so when it doesn't work out, I think a lot of guys are, are quite hard on themselves. So it's about just being open and honest and transparent. Um, and I'm putting it all out there so that's probably what the last two days have looked like just being open and honest what we can do better what maybe look good and what we can build on um, and 
and it's like it's it's a huge opportunity to as a group for us to get a chance to go again um is is all any of us would ever want so uh so i kind of went on a tangent there but I, I guess that's it open and honest transparent and um, say it as it is it's not being hard or soft or anything it's just dealing with the reality of the game and, and trying to be better I'm kind of in the back of my brain to remember the last time I got to a row. So I'm sure you're not losing on a negative emotion, but the, or a motivation. But this team do tend to bounce back. He's been in New Zealand, he's done a good record of it. I guess, like, me personally, and w- wouldn't necessarily look at the outcome. It's when it's just back to the process. So win or lose, that'd be what we'd be doing. But um, I guess after a loss like that, it's maybe a little bit more heightened um, to, to try and be better work harder uh, in, the, in our preparation and then and then let go and you have that freedom to attack the game off the back of how we prepared. So without putting pressure on an outcome, it's certainly now is to just prepare as best we can. Good. Okay. Um, after the game, Andy said that he had been fine week of season should give lads a real loss. He took a very good time. Is that, has that been the case, like, fine point of obviously a massive year here, like, good position, but give you the extra? Um, I think so. What I remember Andy said um, before, I can't remember exactly which game, but he's like the biggest game in Irish rugby's history is always the next one. Um, and with how competitive the group is, how special an opportunity it'd be to represent the country, that that it couldn't be more truer. And given, I suppose, that it's the last week of the season, maybe that's, that's true too. But any opportunity... Um, any of us get to play for Ireland, it's never taken for granted. And it, it motivates you to work hard, like I was saying, in the week to prepare um, and, and challenge the process of, of being as ready as we can to then ultimately let go and attack the game on, on the weekend. So, um, yeah, a lot, like it wouldn't, certainly from my perspective, I was injured a lot. So um, you'd never think back of a long season or get too caught up in that. It's just the week that's in it um, is to give it everything. Did the experience of playing in the box and Zach, yeah, the culture of the spent the eye before, just how different it is, what was your experience? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, I guess rugby is like a bit of a religion here, so it's cool being in, in that environment uh, where it clearly means a lot to a lot of people. So to test yourself or get a chance to test ourselves at that level, um, bigger picture will only benefit from, um, which yeah, I guess. I've said it before, I think it was the prep to the, before the Lancer game, like Loftus is a pretty cool um, stadium in terms of a bit of history to it, the fact that it's brick and a bit more old school. So uh, that was cool playing there. And then and equally this week in Durban, getting that same chance to play um, at a kind of iconic stadium. So yeah, definitely lives up to the hype. Did you hear me, Dad? Uh, yeah, but that's that's a little bit down the line. So be focusing on the task at hand. Yeah. Quite like the experience. Um, last couple of questions, guys. Hail from Mark, South African guys. Yeah. Okay, uh, first of all, Jack is a very good place at the moment. The process of the North and South, and obviously, I've been telling the US here, so I can back the second teams. So, we have a good Yeah, they, well, they definitely made an impact on the URC um, over my last couple of years playing with Lancer with the Pro 14 and then maybe even a little bit through COVID the South African teams it was maybe a bit clunky but I think last season was pretty evident um, but the one before and last that the South African teams have really found their feet and challenging European rugby um, with with no game being any sort of let up whether it's home or away you got to be all in um, and then yeah I suppose the experience this group is playing against New Zealand, um, Australia a couple of years ago, um, the November tests, it's, I think it's great to be a part of and getting the challenge against the best and the back-to-back world champs is, is all I, I'd consider myself lucky to get that opportunity. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty special time, I think, for rugby at the moment.